All right. This slide is probably a bit overwhelming. Okay, let's say, let's be true. This is very overwhelming, right? Remember that I mentioned these systems are complex and technical. These diagrams are a pretty good indication of that. And I promise we won't go so deep into the details on these, at least at this point. But there's one key concept I need to get across uh, to you, um, which is uh, the main difference between the water-cooled and the air-cooled systems and why they're called what they are. This is how the systems eject or get rid of the heat they gather inside the building. Pay attention here. Air-cooled systems get their name since they use a coil and the outside air to dissipate heat. This is very much like a standard split system or package unit, which also use an outdoor coil in the same fashion. All right, let's contrast that with a water-cooled system, which uses water to dissipate the heat outside. This is accomplished by transferring heat inside the building to water, pumping the water to a cooling tower to dissipate the heat. So water is used since water conducts heat about 25% better or faster than air alone. 